Hello Capricorn and welcome to your reading. Capricorn, we are going to be looking at the messages that you need to know at this present moment in time and as usual we're going to be diving deeper into the messages that the Divine wants you to receive. At the bottom of the deck, the Divine is giving you the energies of the Ace of Cups. So there is going to be some new beginnings connected to the heart area because this is where the cups operate. So you could be seeing that you are entering a peaceful new phase. You could be seeing that maybe someone is coming in and giving you that olive branch. No matter what is happening, there is going to be a moment where you are going to be seeing your heart overflowing because the divine is literally giving you something peaceful, an opportunity that could be seeing you stepping into that energy of healing, that could be seeing you stepping into that energy of growing. So the divine is saying, just look out for opportunities that are coming in to maybe mend broken relationships, maybe opportunities to look at the past and just bringing a sense of conclusion and closure. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this card to one side and we're going to be getting another set of tarot cards to elaborate the messages that are on the table a lot further. As I'm getting our cards, I want to remind you that we have our candle magic ceremony that is going to be happening on the 13th of November. And as usual, you're going to be invited to this. This is going to be a new moon and this is an opportunity to plant our seeds of intentions about what it is that we're wanting to happen. So everything that you're going to need to know about the new moon ceremony is going to be linked in the description box below. I do cord cutting ceremonies. I do return to send the ceremonies. There's a lot more offerings that are available on my website. And again, these are linked in the description box below. So let's have a look to see at the bottom of the deck what you are currently are not seeing at the moment and what you should be focusing on. You're receiving the energies of the devil card. The devil card, like I said, connected to the energies that we've already seen with the Ace of Cups. The divine is saying that there is going to be some conclusions. Some of you, you're going to be cutting the cords. You're going to be moving away from narcissistic people, narcissistic energies. Because understand when we're looking at the energies of the devil, it is that energy where you allow people to take your power away, where you allow people to even use you. So the divine is saying that it is going to be important for you to start putting up some boundaries, speaking your truth and allowing yourself to move away from situations where you feel powerless or where you're allowing other people to harness your energies. This is what the connection to the first card that you had of the Ace of Cups. So the Divine is saying as you are moving away from narcissistic energies, as you're moving away from these dark and heavy energies from the Devil card, you're going to be seeing that you start to enter that peaceful new chapter where your cups are overflowing. I feel that for some of you, maybe you could be even be allowing yourself a moment to cry so that you can cleanse these energies that are here. Because crying is not a weakness. Rather, it is a sign that you have been strong for way too long. So the divine is saying that I am going to be coming in and giving you this peace offering. It is up to you to open up your hands and to accept this new peaceful chapter that is going to be allowing you to move away from these heavy and dense energies that are here. So I really like those energies for you because I want you to observe the cards that we have on the table. You have the energies of the five of swords. So there is indeed something manipulative that has been going on. There is something that is being heavy on your heart, on your soul. Because observe the energies that are here. We're sort of like in a derelict type of area. We're sort of like in those dodgy type of neighborhoods, right? And you know when you're in those dodgy type of neighborhoods, you just feel like anxiety. You feel like you cannot relax. So some of you, the divine is saying that you have been stuck in a dodgy type of era where you have been allowing situations to get the better of you. Observe the person here on the devil card and the person that is here on the five of swords. They are in the same type of position even though the cards are from a different deck. So the divine is saying to you again, there is going to be an opportunity to take that sword back by taking your power back and using that sword of truth to cut the cords, to release yourself from painful, from toxic situations, or even from toxic places. So I feel that for some of you, you could be moving away from a job. You're getting a new job. You're letting go of that narcissistic boss. 
you're letting go of that toxic work environment. For some of you, you could be moving into a better neighborhood, neighborhood. But nonetheless, the divine is saying that there is an opportunity that is here to put a closure, okay, to this destructive type of energy. Because when we're dealing with the number fives, these are chaotic type of numbers. They bring a lot of anxiety. They bring a lot of chaos. The number fives brings a destruction to the fours. The number fours brings stability. And the number five destroys that stability. So as you're walking away from the number four, fives and walking into the number six, you are going to be able to build yourself. You are going to be able to enter this peaceful new chapter that I spoke about. So observe, we've got our number one and we have our number one that is here. Observe that we have our number five and we have our number five that is here. So even though our cards are major arcana cards, minor arcana cards, they're all bringing the same type of energy that we're talking about with the devil card. So the number six, like I said, you're building yourself, you're picking up the pieces and you're entering this new chapter that we've already spoken about. So I want you to comment in the comment section 1515 to really bring in those energies of the number sixes. Okay, so let's pop that card to one side and let's look at the other cards that are here. Because not only are you rebuilding, not only are you taking your power back, there is a lot of beautiful energies that are here. You even have a major arcana card of the Wheel of Fortune. So the Divine is saying, Capricorn, listen up and listen up well. The winds of change have started to blow already. I think you got this card in a couple of readings where we're talking about leaving this dense and heavy energies and entering into a lighter new chapter. You have to take the opportunity to bring in and to usher in these energies into your life. How do you do that? You take that dice and you throw that dice. You take a chance on life and you activate the energies of the Wheel of Fortune by taking the hand of Lady Luck because the Wheel of Fortune, Lady Luck, is always walking with you. So you take the hand of Lady Luck and you start journeying and you start moving and you start going into this peaceful new chapter that we spoke about. Because observe, you've got the number 10 that is here. And when we bring this to a single digit, it goes back to the number one. So again, the divine is emphasizing the number one, that new beginning. It's emphasizing the energies of the Ace of Cups. So again, you're leaving behind all this toxic and heavy energies. You are leaving behind the energies of the other major kind of card that is on the cards, which is the devil card. You are leaving this behind and you are moving, you're shifting, you're transforming into this energies of the lighter energies, which is being brought about by the Ace of Cups, which is being brought about by that dove, that symbol of peace that is here. You can see the white color that is there, which is that symbol that I'm talking about, where you're shifting, where you're moving, where you're transforming. So there is that moment where I feel that sometimes you have to accept that right now you're in your caterpillar stage and then you're going to be shifting into that cocoon where you're healing, where you're looking back at everything that transpired and bringing an energy of understanding to how this situation, how it happened, how maybe you allowed it to happen and how you finally took your power back and you were able to cut those cords and release yourself so that you can enter into this peaceful chapter that is here. So it is always important to have a moment of reflection because by allowing reflection, you allow yourself to learn, you allow yourself to grow, you allow yourself to look back and you allow yourself to give yourself that pat on the back to say, I was powerful enough to take my power back. And now as I go into this new chapter that is here, I'm never going to allow myself to find myself in a similar position, in a similar situation. So I emphasize again that it is really important when you're in that cocoon phase to take a moment to look back at everything that happened here, to see the lessons that you've learned from maybe the mistakes that you might be perceiving that you made. But the divine is saying, don't look at it as a mistake, but rather look at it as a time of learning. And you are learning, and through learning, you're able to grow. 
and through learning you don't allow yourself to put yourself in a similar situation when the red flags are starting to fly you excuse yourself you cut yourself off straight away because now you're able to repeat you're able rather to see the repeating patterns and even though that devil archetype might come dressed as a different person when you lift the veil you see that it is a similar type of person it is a similar type of situation that is asking you have you finally learned the lessons and if you haven't you find yourself tempted to go back and before you know it you're repeating that karmic cycle you're back on that wheel so the divine is saying again it is really important for you to understand why you're receiving the energies of the wheel of fortune and it is important for you to understand everything that has happened and transpired up until this point you are going to be using this as a stepping stone to all these beautiful energies that are here look at all the marvelous energies that are here you have the energies of the queen of wands finally you're in your power the sun is rising you've claimed your crown back that new horizon is there the energies of the wands are about passion they're about fire they're about drive and now you're feeling empowered you're feeling passionate and as you're looking back at whatever happened here you are not feeling sorry for yourself but rather you are thankful that this situation happened because it allowed you to upgrade yourself through the lessons that you learned so as you look back at the past don't beat yourself up, okay? But rather understand that sometimes we have to go through challenging situations so that we can learn, so that we can grow, so that when we are doing better, we know how to create boundaries so we don't allow people to enter our spaces and to ruin what we have. I love that not only did you get the energies of passion, fire, drive, you also have the energies of the queen of pentacles, this is all about your health. This is about your wealth. So not only are you moving into a chapter where you are feeling passionate, where you're excited about life, you're also moving into a chapter where your money is growing, where you are feeling good, where you are standing and sitting in your power and you've claimed your power back. So I really, really love these energies. And I love the energies more that you have our two divine feminine energies that are here of passion, fire, drive, of money, of health, of abundance, of resources. And you also have our energy of the king. So there's a balanced type of energy that is here. You've got your queen that is here of wands and you've got your king of wands that is here. So the divine is saying that your ancestors are going to be walking with you. They're going to be proud of you. You're going to be embodying that Leo energy. You're going to be showing up. You're going to be present. And you are going to be allowing people to see you. Because before you were hiding away, before other people were utilizing and they were taking your power and they were using that to maybe make money, okay, because... You've got your pentagram that is here and you've got the same type of energy that is there. Again, these are two different decks, but the energies are very much the same. So again, where are you devaluing yourself? Where are you giving your power away? And where are you allowing other people to use your power to build their castles when you are busy struggling, when you are not able to make ends meet, when you physically, mentally are just not in a good place? Because you're being put under so much pressure. But as you take your power back, you are now sitting on your throne. And now you are the one who's calling the shots. You are the one who's taken back your, your wand, your magic wand. And now you are using it to create whatever it is that you want. As you're now running your kingdom. As you're now creating the abundance. As you're now creating the life that you are currently praying for. So the divine is saying whatever it is that you're currently praying for, it is going to be happening for you if you stand in your power and you take your power back. If you understand that right now, as the energies of the wheel of fortune is indicating, you are working with divine timing. So the time is now. You cannot afford to keep on not speaking your truth, being afraid, pussyfooting around people. You just have to say your truth. You just have to take that sword and to cut the cords and to release yourself and to free yourself because you're understanding that there is a peaceful chapter that is waiting for you, but it's not going to be waiting forever for you to turn up. 
So it is important for you to hold Lady Luck's hand and to go on this journey as you are exiting these toxic situations that are here. The divine is saying that you're going to be creating that stability that we spoke about. Remember, we spoke about the energies of the number four. So you are going to be creating that stability. Some of you, you're moving to the countryside to create a more balanced life. Some of you, maybe you are trying to create a more simplified life. For some of you, you're wanting to have reasons to celebrate. You're using your passion. You're using your skills. You are using your presence to create something from that passion that is burning within you, that fire that is burning within you, because that fire element is very much present in this reading. So there's a sense of you using that fire element, taking that magic wand, remembering that you are the magician, you are the architect of your life, only if you are the one who's holding the pen and creating and manifesting the reality that you're praying for. You are the one who's holding that magic wand and drawing into reality the life of your dreams. And we're standing here, we're seeing you here, really standing firm in your power, really holding on family to that magic wand because you are not going to allow yourself again to repeat the same mistakes and to give your power away to someone else so that they can use your magic, so that they can use your, your, your essence, your divinity, your divine gifts to make themselves bigger than they really are. Without you, they are nothing. And the divine is saying it is time for you to realize this, that you are being played and you are being manipulated in some way, whether this is at home, at work, whether this is because of the neighborhood that you live in, because of the situations that you're currently in, whichever way it is, where this heavy energy is, the divine is saying, not long are you going to be in this situation anymore. You're going to be in these type of situations where life feels good, where life is finally unfolding in a way that you've been praying for for a really, really long time. But you must remember, you cannot remain in this type of energy. You must start understanding that you have to be proactive and through you being proactive this is how you activate the energies and the blessings that are waiting for you so if you found value in this reading don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up comment subscribe and hit that notification bell i'll see you soon it is a goodbye from me